Well, hello, friends. It certainly is good to be able to come back into your presence today to share with you coffee and conversation. What a great way to get a new day started. A fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, my friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled Overcoming Deception. You know, we live in a world where there's so many false things that uh, sometimes it's hard to realize what is real. But you need to understand, my friend, you don't live in a make-believe world. You live in a real world. And there is a real God, and if you know him and serve him, he'll bless you. But you also need to know that there is a real devil who is our arch deceiver, who is trying to cause us to turn our back on the Lord Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 19, verse number 20, we read these words. Uh, then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with fire and brimstone. One day soon, my friend, that's going to happen and there'll be no more deception. But until that day comes, you and I must constantly be on guard. Friends, millions of people are being deceived every day. You may work with them. You may go to school with them. You may live next door to them. You may shop with them. You may see them on television and or listen to them on the radio. In fact, if you're not careful, you may be one of them. As the great satanic uh, deception unfolds upon the earth, uh, you see millions upon millions of persons being deceived deceived. My friend, you may not realize the deception is happening, but many parts of your everyday life are tied uh, to the deception put in place by the powers of, of darkness. What you store in your heart can either lead to blindness uh, or it can lead to vision. When you store the true love of God in your heart each day, it's then, my friend, that you have true vision. You can have a discerning vision as to what's going on around you. Listen, when your heart is resting in the hands of God and when you are continually kneeling at the foot of Christ's cross, uh, you live in wisdom beyond deception. The old song, Kneel at the Cross, that we used to sing in our Baptist churches, uh, are, it's so true. Kneel at the cross, Christ uh, will meet you there and he'll help you to have vision to overcome all deception. Pray with me. Father, today how grateful and thankful we are that you help us to overcome all deception. And Lord, we overcome that deception by focusing upon you and trusting you to help us to be an overcomer. Now, Lord, I pray for that one who may be in the midst of deception. Lord, that you would open eyes that they may see, hearts that they may receive, and know that you're near. And Lord, we'll give you thanks and praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, my friend, go out into your world today. Make a big difference in your world. Remember to smile as you go out. Let others see Jesus in you, for your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read.